Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. And we are two sisters, Southern Cooking. Lucky Charms Marshmallow Treats in honor of St. Patty's Day. What better way to do it than with your Lucky Charms? <laughs> ben was a little mad because I bought two big boxes of Lucky Charms. And he thought he wasn't getting none of them. He thought he wasn't going to get any. Well, he's getting some. Well, that was just my math, you know. <laughs> I was the mathematician in the family. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I just saved lives, that's all. <laughs> I think yours was more important. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna take the GoPro in the kitchen and we'll see hey y'all we are at the stove now and I just put four tablespoons of butter in and we're gonna melt that down and then we're going to put our marshmallows in which is basically the same as like uh, Rice Krispies or ch those types of treats. Yeah, but we're doing it with Lucky Charms. Yes, instead. we're gonna do it with Lucky Charms for St. Patty's Day. So we're gonna melt this down and we got it on low heat. So behind us, we went ahead and sprayed our 9 by 13 pan with some oil and also put a piece of parchment paper. And I kind of cut that uh, corners so we would be able to slide it in and then pick it up and slide it right back out. Yeah. Um, and then we can cut it. But you're going to let this rest for one hour before you decide to cut it because it needs to harden. So. And it is taking longer to melt because it is on low. Yes. But by the time, we do not want this pan scorching because that will burn our marshmallows. Yeah. So we don't want to do that. And we're using the mini marshmallows also. By the way, don't ever ask me to do any kind of math work for you because <laughs> I ended up buying five bags of marshmallows. <laughs> And I use less than one bag. So we have plenty of marshmallows left over. I think I might take one or two home for Ben to snack on. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yeah. Just, just, uh, yeah. I underestimated myself when I was doing my math for my ounces versus... Uh, you also bought too much cereal, too. I did. I bought two of the mega boxes of the Lucky Charms, which Ben will be happy he gets to take home, so... That's okay. My my favorite guilty cereal would be um, um, the the crispy one, the cocoa cocoa puffs. Oh, no. cocoa puffs. Yeah, yeah. I could sit and eat those. Yeah, every day. Yeah, those are that that one, and also I like the fruity, fruity pebbles, pebbles and yeah. the cocoa pebbles. Yeah, yeah. Those cocoa are my pebbles are the ones that those are kind of my guilty treat too yeah. when I'm doing cereal. Okay, so our butter is. I Lee melted. We were on low heat, so it does take a hot minute. And we are putting in five cups. And this is going to do not turn the heat up on this to make it go faster. There's a reason why it's low on low slow. heat. <laughs> low <laughs> and you slow. Do not want to burn your marshmallows because it will. It'll start smoking and then you'll be having a mess and a half. So don't do that. So this is probably going to take about a couple minutes for it to melt completely. And we'll be back when we are ready to pour in our Lucky Charms. Okay. An hour later. Here we are. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it took about a total of what? About 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. For us to get it to this point. And, uh... We're doing it low and slow because we don't want to burn it. Because you know, just as soon as you do, you're going to burn it. And then it's going to... And, and you have to move fairly fast at that point. Yes. To get it all mixed together. Yeah. And that's why the good part about it is the heat is low. So it's not going to scorch it or burn it. Right. So try to get like um, wooden spatulas or spoons or like the silicone spatulas like Elsie's using there. 
to be able to so it won't stick because otherwise you'll have big blobs on your on your spoons all right i need to get a pot And then we'll take it and we'll put it into our 9 by 13 pan and let it sit up for about an hour. And then we're going to come back and show you how we're going to do our potatoes. Because the chicken will be done here soon. We've got about 20 minutes left on the chicken. I'm so excited. Everything's just moving right along today. No snafus today, sis. Yeah. We've done a lot today. Yes, we have. Elsie went to the doctor. And she got a good report on her thyroid. And um, that's better than I expected. Excellent, yes. I think much better than we expected. So we are just really thanking the Lord and very happy about that. Okay, I think we can All right. turn this off. All right. And spread it into our pan. All right. That went so smooth into that pan. Look at that. Okay. All right, so she's going to smooth this out, and I would not recommend touching this with your bare hands. It's well, hot. Because it is hot. So don't touch it with your bare hands because that melted marshmallow is definitely not one to play with. You and it is tricky to work with because it's trying to set up so yeah this is fairly normal with how it's trying to do if it wasn't so hot you could put like a little bit of oil on your hand and smooth it out mm -hmm. but i would not recommend it because that is really going to be hot it's going to be hot tea burndy Spread it. I'm holding on to the paper. The parchment, yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't make it a little easier to yeah. pull. If you need to spread it out and try to make it as even as you can. It's so hard to do. That is so sticky. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to get a, a spatula real quick. That is a great idea. Offset spatula. But I would recommend actually greasing it. Mm -hmm. Spraying it with grease. We'll be right back. Guys. All right. So Elsie went and got an offset spatula so she could push it down because it does make it a little easier. Now, if you don't have an offset spatula, just spray you, can do you a, regular a regular knife. Or a knife or, spa um, like or a, a regular knife. spatula. You could do a butter knife. Just make sure mm -hmm. you spray it so it doesn't stick to it. Mm -hmm. So... It's already setting up mm -hmm. very fast. We're going to let this set for an hour and then we're going to take it and cut it up. And we'll show you that stuff when we do that as well. We'll have to use a uh, buttered or a uh, uh, oil greased knife to set it up. And we'll cut it up in pieces. Elsie's a perfectionist. I mm am. -hmm. She wants to get it all settled in. Okay. I think we're good enough. All right. We'll go ahead and let it sit up for an hour and we'll show you what it looks like when we're ready to cut so it. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and take these out. So the reason why I put parchment paper down here is because you can just lift it straight up. And there's no fuss, no muss. All right, little trick. I'm just going to spray a little oil on this to cut it. Just gonna cut it in pieces. I spray my vent scraper. If you use a knife, make sure it's a sharp knife. And also make sure that you spray it with some kind of oil or butter. And that way you don't have to worry about it sticking to your knife or your cutting device.
So we just make sure these are, see that? So we're just gonna put these on the little plate here. And we're gonna have these for dinner tonight. Because this is our St. Patty's Day feast. So we're having that tonight with all the fixins. There is a lot of things that we didn't cook for St. Patty's Day that I know it's probably not everybody's cup of tea, but I we tried to do the general what you would like. And tomorrow Elsie's making Rubens from the leftover corned beef. And I'm trying to talk her into doing a video on it so you guys can see the assembly of that. She might be able to do it with her phone or her regular camera. Um, then we'll It still wants to stick, so it's not completely immune to it. So just make sure it's greased up really well. Make sure your cuts are really good. So this will take the place of the marshmallow treats that you did with Rice Krispies. And those cereals are not similar in texture, so it's definitely going to be a little different, but I'm telling you, these are so good. Oh my goodness, they are so good. There. That's going to be delicious. Mm-mm-mm. All those colors, look at the colors on that. It just looks so festive. All right. All right, guys. We're gonna go ahead and let these sit up. We're gonna get ready for this evening's dinner. We're doing corned beef and cabbage, two ways. We're doing um, beer chicken, beer can chicken, and We will see you in our next video. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe.